Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, money uh, mid-game, like make a lot of money uh, in Kenshi. So technically what I did here, as you can see, I'm a, I have a base uh, located near to the hive, uh, hive base, which is north to, uh, sorry, north of the, the Squin base and west of the hub. All right, so this is my outpost and I'll tell you why it's important because in the hive village here, uh, I get often attacked by animals, which in uh, in return, when they die, I get to loot them, and I loot the food uh, for my clan and also the food for my animals. So I get that. I get a lot of food. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I got food over here. See, this is all the food that I looted from killed animals uh, from the hive uh, sector. But uh, if you go other places. Um, you do get attacked other places as well, but here there's a lot of animals, and I have a vendor, a trader vendor over here that I can sell uh, the leather. I mean, I mean, I can sell pretty much anything. But the reason is uh, I get a lot of leather. Now I don't have any more because I sold everything, and as you can see, I have 119,000 uh, cats, which is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot, by the way. And um, the thing is that the animals, when I loot them, I get fr uh, a lot of um, uh, hides and foods. You know raw meats that I that becomes dried meat after I cook them and foods for my animals and also the other reason is because as you can see I, I built a base just beside this guy over here uh, copper resources and here I bit I build a uh, storage for copper one two three five of them and trust me five is uh, is okay because sometimes I got f all these boxes become full pretty fast and all I have to do is to uh, go to my storage when they're full of course and well depends and you just take them take one of your uh, this guy he's my seller so technically I have a make sure you have a thieves backpack so have extra storage put all what the, the you, you go over here you know you get your ore or you get your uh, your hides and you go to the vendor over here you sell everything and you rinse and repeat so you keep doing it doing it and doing it so that's how I made uh, 119,000 gold very easily uh, sorry, no, no, sorry, 119,000 cats. All right. Uh, right now, I'm being attacked. As I can see, I'm being attacked by this guy, this uh, uh, this giraffe kind of beak thing. <laughs> and uh, look, I'm gonna show you how it is. Uh, also, oh, the other thing is like when you kill the animals, to be efficient, you gotta automate uh, whoever is gonna f um, loot the animals because you can either do it manually or do it automatically automated so me I decided to automate it because sometimes I do something else so this guy over here uh, I'll show you something very important as you can see foraging is almost at the end foraging is a priority before disposing of it I mean if you want to dispose of the animals otherwise if you don't want to dispose of it don't mind these two but foraging needs to be at the end and everything else, the hauling to skin, uh, hauling to storage skin, hauling to animal feeder. This is important. These are important to be before, before foraging animals. Because if you don't put, if you don't do it like this, uh, this guy uh, Soto, when he kills the animal, he's gonna forage the um, the animal. But the thing is that he's gonna, if you put, let's say. Um, sorry, if you put foraging animal before, let's say, animal feeder, he's gonna haul whatever he looted to the animal feeder which is like you know here like these guy over here but instead of going straight to haul the skins to the um, the storage skin over here what he's gonna do he's gonna come back to the animal over here and he's gonna loot him again because although I have a lot of space sometimes I don't have enough space sometimes there's a lot of animals sometimes like, like three four five uh, animals and I don't have any more I don't any more space uh, to uh, forage so uh, that's why I have other people who do who does the job but at the same time you know like I, I, I am limited to how much I can loot so basically that's why I what happened is this I want to make sure that they loot as much as they can as they make their their bag full when it's full I want them to haul everything in the animal uh, first of all I forgot one it's the uh, where the food the, the raw meat haul to raw meat I forgot where I put it Shit, I got a lot of, uh, sorry about that. But there's like, um, before the animal feeder, uh, storage meat. This has to be the priority. Uh, hauling to storage meat, because there's going to be raw meat over here, like from the animals. You're going to have raw meat, you're going to have fall, uh, foul raw, raw meat, and you're going to have leather skin. 
three things to consider. So the priority is uh, hauling to storage meat, then animal feeder, and then um, storage to skin, uh, hauling to store skin, and then forage, foraging animals. And then he, what he's going to do is that when he has all the uh, elements in here, he's going to uh, haul to the respective place. And then when he's, he, his bag is empty, he's going to come back and, and um, forage all, any other animals that has not been looted yet. And when every animals are looted and placed in their uh, respective uh, storage box, uh, he's going to come back and, and, dis and incinerate every um, animals. You know, you don't have to, but I do it because, uh, because it's kind of messy and disgusting. And he's going to he's gonna bring them to the incinerator over here. And that's it. They die and that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you want, and yeah, you just have to automate everything. And to automate, you shift, right click, whatever you want to do, by the way, just to let you know. And that, and then after that, I bring my seller, this guy. I go to the uh, copper boxes storage, to the leather storage, animal. Uh, sorry, the animal skin storage, and I sell everything there. As for the raw meat, it automatically goes to the uh, near the cook it, the cooking. Here I have my cooking people. Uh, where is a? Uh, I'm just gonna Swift. Where's Swift? Swift is over here. I'm gonna show you very fast. So. There, things have to be placed strategically boom so basically this is my raw meat storage so basically all the raw meat goes here the cooks when he see when she see there there there's raw meat she's gonna pick it up come to the oven over here and she's gonna do dry meat and then when she's done doing the dry meat uh cooking the dry meat uh she or somebody else gonna put it in this food uh food st uh, storage over here so you see everything is strategy so i have plenty of food for my clan and plenty of food for my animals as you see and I get I make a lot of money as well because the trader is just beside and also one more thing uh, these people who are um, um, uh, doing this like uh, mining the copper ore as you can see I, 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 did, I did some sort of wall over here with uh, turrets as you can see the turrets and I assigned people to uh, be at these turrets the reason is uh, uh, my two people who actually mine the ore get attack gets attacked a lot. So if they do, I already have people who will be assigned to kill whoever you know comes by here to attack my uh, miners. So basically, I am safe. So basically, everything needs to be done strategically. And also for animal feeding, as you can see, I put my animal feeding some over here and some over here. So you, you want to put them close to like you know where the action is because if they're too far if the animal feeder storage is too far uh, you know they they're, they're, they're not going to be close enough to defend you when you get attacked over here basically I always get attacked around here you see what I'm saying like around here this area that's why all my defense are pretty much here if I get raided then I have more turrets over here as you can see I don't know if you can see it but I, I have turrets on this building Turrets on this building, turrets over here, all the way. It's like I'm super defended. So this is mid game, by the way. At the beginning, when you start the game, you can't do that. You need to have a lot of, you know, you need to have at least 10 people. You need to have a pretty decent base. And you need to have, you know, you know what I mean? You need to be mid game. This is a mid game way to make a lot of money. So uh, let me see. Uh, I'm just going to show you what happened when we kill, when I killed the, is it key? Is he killed? Where is he? Oh, there he is. So here is the giraffe so he's gonna die shortly boom he's dead so now let's see who's gonna loot Soto is looting him all right so Soto he, so this is what he looted but I'm, I think somebody else looted the rest so now he had the skin as you can see he's gonna put it in boom the skin box and that's it now he's gonna loot. Go back to loot. Is he? No, somebody else looted the food. So I have other players uh, who are assigned to loot the animals. But somebody's gonna come and yeah, it's ice. Ice. Uh, let me see. What is she? What is she? Loot? Yeah, she's looting the uh, raw material here. The raw animal. Um, sorry, the raw meat. And then she's gonna bring it to, like I just said before, the uh, the raw meat storage, so that the cooker. Molly, her name is Molly. She's gonna, she's the cooker. Boom, you see, and that's it. Uh, sometimes there's a bug. If there's a bug, all you have to do is to right click somewhere else, and that's it. See, Molly, she went to pick the raw meat, and now she's cooking the food. And also, when you do that, you want to press, make sure it's on repeat queue <clears throat> so that the draw, it's just so she keeps, uh, she keeps, um, 
taking the raw meat from here if there's more raw meat let me see again okay there's no more raw meat just so took everything so you gotta make sure it's on um so on repeat queue so that you know she she keeps uh making the food and then you gotta make sure you assign someone to to uh, uh haul the food from the cooking stove to here because when she cooked the food she is not gonna haul it there she's just cooking the food so you need to have a hauler so you shift right click this this guy over here and when she when she's cooking well when she she's done cooking the dry meat somebody's gonna pick it up and bring it over here so you see this has to be strategic everything has to be strategic and that's how I survive that's how I make a lot of uh, money at the same time and I rinse and repeat and that's it and for late game if you want to be if you want to make more money late game then you got to build uh, more expensive stuff like uh, uh, the grog I don't know if you know the grog it's like some sort of uh, I think it's food over drink and you have the rum see rum over here this guy over here if you build that it sells for 453 uh, cats so that's a lot of money and you have grogs which sells for like around 850 cats so you, you know that's for late game when you actually have the farming you have uh, you know not right now I'm starting the farming so I don't have enough uh, items I don't have uh, enough like elements to to make the grog and to make the rum yet but if when I do I'm gonna be very rich <laughs> you know what I'm saying so that's about it guys so uh yeah may, and uh, by the way you don't have to build a base just like i did the reason i did a base over here like i said is because there's a trader right here and i can build a base just beside so because there are some places like if you do you cannot do this i don't think you can do it at you see like this city over here squin it, i some one time i wanted to build something because they were ore over here i wanted to build a base but they an outpost sorry and it did not allow me i had to go all the way here which is way too far because the vendor is inside the city so I did not want to go from there to all the way there in order just to sell uh, my items to make money but at the beginning when you start the game you have no choice so you'll have to use whatever you can sell in order to make some money once you have enough money more firepower more people then you go over here if you want to and you build your 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 base like I just did or anywhere else where there's like a lot of animals attack and a, a vendor just beside and you gotta make sure you have great great defense you gotta put your storage at the right place uh, specifically like I said copper if it's copper you're mining because this sells for a lot and also uh, uh, animal skins those are the two most important in mid game and then as for the rest well it's for strategically to, to put the food for your animals that is if you have animals so if you don't have animals don't mind what I just said about the animal food but I suggest you have animals because when you get a raided or attacked these animals come in handy also I have another uh, right here I actually build a um, raw stone uh, stone mine and so it's pretty interesting so the, the raw stone mine will allow me to produce building uh what is it uh building materials because i have the uh stone processor so this is like you know like a little bit more advanced stuff but just like i said everything has to be strategic in order to make money uh make game if you want to do a lot of money so that's my way of doing it if you like my way please uh like and subscribe if you have any questions let me know and uh i'll see you in the more video of kenji all right thank you cheers